Now what? Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Change it up so you know, big big shitty beer. <laughs> so what did we just do last year, Stephen? To the Sierra Nevada um, beer camp. Uh, in, co in collaboration with uh, Surly Brewing Company, it's their ginger lager, lager brew with ginger, cayenne pepper, and fermented on oak. Didn't get the, uh, the oak per se, um, got the ginger a lot, got the cayenne pepper a lot. Uh, damn good beer. I gave it a nine, gave it eight. Now we're going to move on to the big boy. Uh, I did a, a trade with, holy shit, you're right. I didn't want to start talking about it and you start talking about it. I did a trade with a guy named Daniel. Uh, met him on Facebook, we met in person at the uh, Rough Tales latest event. Uh, I got him, uh, we, like we just talked about in the last video, a Mustang beer. Uh, it was, me and Jesse reviewed it literally four years ago. Uh, it was their Raspberry Stout, the 750 mil. So he tossed me this in, a, in, a ch in an exchange. This here is the Dark Hollow. It's from Blue Mountain Barrel House series. Was that the brewery though? Blue Mountain? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure. Uh, Imperial Stout aged in oak bourbon barrels. Oh, I'm so excited for this. 2718, definitely within. Where it's a stout, so there's really nothing yeah. within. It just ages. Honestly, uh, I noticed that these, you know, we did the uh, 2013 Boulevard uh, Imperial Stout aged in oak bourbon barrels. And it was only 40% that was aged in oak bourbon barrels. It was just straight whiskey. We couldn't even finish it. It was so it was so damn aggressive on that on that that whiskey. It had the alcohol base part to the whiskey. Yeah, it was just straight like whiskey. Okay, here is Dark Hollow. Damn. You don't have to read all that shit. All right, cool. <laughs> Goddamn paragraphs. Uh, ten percent alcohol by volume. I like how they have the S, IBU. <laughs> it's just IBU. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 70 IBU. Holy shit, that's bitter. 10% alcohol. Whole pint, nine ounces. Oh, more than a pint there. Yeah, we're going to be filling it after this one. All Insert right. penis. God damn it. <laughs> get one of them good old fancy twister, pop the top. Second. I want to rinse for this. I want this yeah, straight. I did. I kind of feel like I got a little ripped off since I gave him a uh, a beer from a brewery that's no longer in business. <laughs> so we were discussing it too. We were like, man, should you drink this or should you just not drink it since they're out of business? Keep like, it because nobody else can ever get it again. I'm like, that's the only bottle I've seen. So. Once the stores run out, it's out. And it's four year old beer, so you know not many stores are going to have it in in stock and it was a you know a raspberry age or a raspberry uh, flavored stout so you know those raspberry notes are dead Ooh, that's nice. real nice and dark with a nice good thick creamy head oh nothing that smells just like that just like that uh, Boulevard. Hopefully you don't have that sharp burn. Actually, no, it's not nearly as bad. I'm getting actually a little bit of chocolate. Got that motherfucker. I'm actually getting a little bit of chocolate on the end. Mm, yeah, it's not so bad now. A uh, creamy to a dark chocolate. With a little bit of caramel. Yeah. I love it. I love the smell. Oh yeah. Good lord. Mm. God damn, that's good. It's not nearly as bold in the flavor as I thought it would be. No. Even a coffee. Whew. Not for this. What is it? Seventy something IBUs. Hey, and I think we pulled it out at the right time and drank it at the right time. I think that temperature is fucking perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's probably what, about 50 degrees? 
55. It's got a little bit of moisture on it, but that's that's because it's been sitting out for however long we've been doing these reviews. But yeah, like touching the glass and stuff. I want to. I put that around like 50 degrees. Yeah, that's barely barely moist around the glass. God damn. That is good. And we're getting fucked up tonight because this ball's getting finished. Mm -hmm. We might as well sit here and bullshit because we're finishing this shit. God, that is good. Thank you for doing this one with me. Because this is some good beer. This is the kind of beer I like. Good bourbon barrel aged stout. I love me some bourbon barrel aged stouts. Mm -hmm. Stuff like this I don't like having it myself. Like if, if you look at any of my videos, you know, anything 750 mil, there is rarely anything I've done that's been uh, this big that I've had in myself, especially something like this. Uh, I've done, the biggest thing I've done to myself was a 64 ounce crowler. It was um, Mustang, uh, their tractor therapy, which is a session IPA. A drinker. Yeah, I mean, I drug that out, out over three hours or so watching a couple of movies. Imagine how long you'd have to drag that son of a bitch out. Oh man. You'd get fucked. Uh, not just that, this is a take you a good little drink, chill for a little bit. It's not something you're just going to drink, drink, drink on. However, I think I'd have to get some ice or something and, and set this in the ice. Oh, yeah, because if you're going to drink that whole bottle, it'd get yeah. too hot. Too hot. I think we, if we would have waited another beer or two, I think it would have got too warm. Yeah. It is sitting right there at that perfect warmth. But the smell just is so intense. But, oh. But the flavor is chocolate, caramel, coffee. coffee, oaky. And really, in my opinion, the bourbon is not too strong. The bourbon is on the end. Like the aftertaste, you can taste a little bit of that bourbon hint. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not sure if it's the cayenne from this, but I'm getting a little tongue burn on the very end. See, I'm feeling that too, but... I have a feeling it's still that ginger on our tongue. Yeah. Especially since I, you know, I just drank mine and then rinsed it and went straight to this. Mm. But we got a lot more to drink, so we'll be able to tell if it's still there or not. Mm. I'm glad you brought this. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. And the thing was, I was sending him, a, I think I sent him a picture of what I had, and then I texted him, oh, and I have this 750 mil of this beer. And he's like, bourbon barrel style. I was like, oh. <laughs> like, literally, if someone said, what is your favorite type of beer? I would say a bourbon barrel aged style. Yeah. I, I love the flavor. That is my favorite. Because me, if I'm going to drink any kind of liquor, I'm talking not mixed drink, not shots, drink it, you know, chill it over some ice or something and just sip on it. Good bourbon whiskey. Yep. I like I like that bourbon flavor. And then I love my stouts with the chocolate and the coffee and you throw that in the mix and that's just my favorite. Oh yeah. I think my dad would like this. Mm -hmm. Although he, he'd probably want a little bit more of uh, the more bourbon, bourbon whiskey to yep. it. Which, if it had a little more bourbon, I wouldn't complain. No. But it's good the way it is. Not complaining now either. If this had another six months on it, it'd probably be stronger. Wouldn't be as sweet, which, in my opinion, the sweetness is fucking awesome. perfect. Yeah. Fucking perfect. You'd have to find that perfect medium. Like, let it sit another three months to where you still have that good sweetness, but you get a little bit more bourbon to it. Yeah. But, I mean, it's great either way. Even if you just let this sit another year and you lost some of the sweetness and more bourbon came in, it'd still be a good beer. I guarantee you be different, but I guarantee it's still be badass beer. Mm. We're going to get this. Yeah, go ahead and get some more. Where can you get this? I don't know. He, I don't think you can get it here. He brought it back from somewhere. I'd like to get one, throw it up in the fucking closet, and let it sit a fucking year. Yeah. Well, he works, uh, he did, well, not now, he did work all over the, the U.S. He was working up in D.C. and Virginia and shit. That's why it, was, it took forever for me to finally get a hold of him and, and get that beer to him. Well, we got to the end of it. Mm. Here's your bottle. If you can get it, get it. You will not be disappointed if you like you some stout and bourbon. 
what I get at work a lot. Well, it got spread around work, you know, within the last year about these beer reviews. <laughs> There's a guy at work just happened to was on YouTube and just typed in a certain beer that he's interested in. And one of the first Saw videos that popped us. up was us. He's like, I think I know that guy. And he like clicked on it, and he's like, that's Jesse. <laughs> Comes to work, so and it was bottle cap night. Bottle cap. Remember a gorilla tape? Oh, oh gosh. My nipple? <laughs> it was that night. So, you know, it just had to be the perfect fucking one. So I'm at work, and all of a sudden, everyone's fucking laughing. And, and to my surprise, everyone, a lot of people work, especially... All right, I'm going to stop Jesse. He's not outgoing at work. No. He sticks to his, his, his area, and, and he's a lot like me. A lot of people think I'm a general asshole, but I just the thing is, if I don't talk to you, I don't talk to you. I do my shit. I talk to who I talk to. I'm at work. I'm here to work. <laughs> yeah. I'm here to socialize, become best fucking friends. I'm here to collect a paycheck go to fuck home. Yep. Yeah. So everyone that I hadn't been talking to at work, and like at work, I talk to people, but it's people right there in my general area. Other than that, I don't even know your name, and don't even bother me to find out. I mean, don't break my heart now. You know, some people, they want to meet everybody, be friends mm -hmm. with everybody. It don't bother, it, it don't bother me at all. But, uh, that's probably why we get along so well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those, I am who I am. You don't like it, guess what? Fuck off, I don't care. If you don't like it, I am who I am. I ain't changing for nobody. But, uh, we were, yeah, I was at work, that happened. And there was a lot of people like, no, that, that's got to be a look. Like, that can't be him. He's too goddamn serious. He walks around like he's always pissed off and shit. And I'm like, no, that's fucking him. And then... They end up coming over near my area with the guys I actually talked to. And I'm like, talking about serious and all this shit. He's a goofy ass motherfucker. <laughs> like, yeah, that's him. He does his damn beer reviews. So it spread around the whole damn fucking plant. And a lot of them I talked to and stuff. Oh, I hate stouts. I hate stouts. And you ask them when they've had one stout. They try one and call it a day. Yep. It's like, you can't do that. I was like, Literally, for just about every one there is, for every type of beer, there is one made that you will like. Yeah. Because I was like, you can't just rate stouts off that one stout you had. There is literally like a thousand fucking stouts you can try. And the, and the same company could take one stout yep. and have 30 different variations of it. Uh, for what instance, uh, the Polar series that Ruffdale has, Polar Night, Polar Eclipse, Something Something Eclipse, which Jesse got to try today. It's a different variation of it. And that was uh, good. That coconut vanilla in it. That was about ass. Uh, coffee too. Well, I, I was just describing. Yeah. That. Um, sure deals to it. So you know that, like, for instance, this company might have a uh, dark hollow. They might have sleepy dark hollow that has coconut in it, or uh, uh, dark hollow s with caramel in it. Yeah, or or something with coffee and call it whatever. You know, dark hollow caffeinated. You know, just some random bullshit. They, you know, every every stout is different. Every company stout is different. Every company stout variation is different. So, and they would also label it as dark beers. Period. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, I don't like them. Or dark porter, beers. imperial porter, imperial stout. Uh, They're like, I don't like stouts. I don't like them dark dark beers. I'm like, well, you just can't say the color of the beer is a type. I mean, yeah. That that varies. I was like, there's so many different ways. I was like, I've had hundreds. Of of different fucking beers, mm -hmm. and there's a whole different scale out there. And I'm like, well, what is it you hated about that one style you had? And they're like, it, it was just like straight coffee, and that's all there was. I was like, you can go get you some goddamn chocolate stouts, you vanilla can get some coconut. bourbon, you can yeah. get some vanilla. I was like, there's all different flavors. Just because it's stout doesn't mean the stout you had that's the only flavor it's going to taste like for, at all of them. Yeah. It's like that's not part of the whole process of discovering beer. That's the fun part of discovering beer. Trying. Every fucking different one you can find. Find out which ones are good, which ones are bad, which ones you love, which ones you hate. It's and, so fun. And what I suggest is, you know, like I said, Jesse got a taste of uh, something, something Eclipse. Most of these breweries, you go in there, uh, you know, with wherever you live, within a hundred mile radius, you're going to have at least one to five to ten breweries, depending on you know where you live. Uh, we might not even realize it. Yeah, we're we're not too close to Oklahoma City. Uh, we're not too far from Oklahoma City, and there's five or six breweries in Oklahoma City. We can go in there and just say, oh, that sounds interesting, can I have a taste of it? They'll give you a little taste. 
they're not going to charge you. If you like it, you can order it on draft. You can order a crowler. You can, they might even have packs of it. Craft micro breweries. Yeah. They're not going to sit there and be a-holes to you. They're a small company, and they want they're, you to try their beer. They're proud of their beer. And it's like, well, I'm not sure if I want to buy that beer. You know, it's this pro they ain't worried about that if you're just like, I'm not too sure. Can I have like a little sample? A little can give you what it is. It's almost like a oversized shot glass. Pretty it's much like a four ounce time. glass, but they, they fill it up. Like and they part. put a little enough in there for you to get one good swallow. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You know, they give you a shot to see if you want to buy it. And honestly, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to say her name. Uh, the lady that poured his, his uh, something something eclipse. She wasted more beer getting the foam out of the line than she yep. did giving him beer. Because take the glass, you and run it, and then you put the glass under it. <laughs> it's like ten ounces came out. I got well, about four ounces much. to drink. Maybe. Well, I'm saying four. Total. Yeah. <laughs> about ten ounces of foam. <laughs> but yeah, it's like they pull it for like two or three seconds, put your drink under there for about two seconds, and then turn it off. Yeah. And there's your sample. So I mean, just try different breweries different styles you'll find something you like i'm not saying go out and buy a four pack six pack 12 pack 18 pack of everything you see uh most you, of the stuff we try it seems yeah like when uh, me and brad went to um rough Tales event kiss um, my ass we tried that uh i can't fucking remember the fucking name oh salvador denali that's what it was we had the salvador denali we paid our five dollars for the 10 ounce glass we loved it. We went and bought four pack of it. Uh, me and Jesse went and bought three, four packs today. Uh, the, everything around the orange. Salvador. Salvador Denali. It was the El Dorado we bought. El Dorado Denali. El Dorado is what we bought. El Dorado Denali. Okay. They had a Salvador. That's not what we bought. Let's hit a pause here. Let me double check. I, I, I think it's the El Dorado. El Dorado Denali. Yeah. No, Salvador Denali. Eldorado? Salvador. I saw Salvador up there on their list on the tap, and I think. I almost, I really swore that Eldorado is what we bought. But it's not Salvador. No, there is no rough tail Eldorado. Okay, so edit that bullshit out. Sound like a bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> uh, where did we get Eldorado? Because you said it, and I could have sworn I seen it. Okay, so. Salvador, El Dorado, we all, we all got confused. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, Salvador Denali. Yep. So, um, yeah, we, we got 10 ounce pours of that. We paid our $5 for 10 ounce pour. Liked it. Got four packs of it. Uh, I will admit, if you, you know, if you've seen the review, it's already out by now. The flavor wasn't as intense in the review, but the thing is, when I had one a couple of days later, the flavor was fucking, like, the hot oils are so strong in that beer it, it kind of burns it's aggressive on that hop oil uh, but I loved it and we didn't have the everything rhymes with orange on uh, draft uh, we ended up just we ended up just taking a four pack home and splitting it um, called it a day I mean everything rhymes with orange there's not a variation of everything rhymes with orange it's gonna taste like dick so it was called a, the Pina Colada well, that we had. was their adaptation, uh, number nine, adaptation. with uh, coconut and vanilla. That was pretty damn good. And then we had the Something Something Eclipse on draft. We didn't take a crowler home. Uh, All I know is I hate you both. Okay, get this. All right. I won. I got invited to a event for the Mayweather fight. Uh... My friend Demontre, you've seen me do beer reviews with him. That got canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. I will not t announce here. I'll tell you in a minute. Um, right. It's pretty personal. Yeah. Um, so the next day, uh, Brad, which was honestly after the last Blue Runner reviews, me and Brad did. Uh, by the time you've seen this, we've already done a review, a line of reviews, the one before that. I mean, I'm sorry, I got like 15. You're going to have to bring Brad out, uh, all, all three of his fucking yeah. reviews. Um, Brad said he was going to watch it at his place. He has a streaming player. So we said, all right, cool. We'll so watch it at Mike's house. There it is. Yeah. And this was before I got a invite from his wife for his daughter's birthday party. So 
fast forward to me getting the invite to his daughter's birthday party, I can't go. I already had predetermined plans. We here. Oh, I was like, God damn it, I just have a water line break. <laughs> It almost sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> so I said I couldn't go. Got his daughter a gift. Um, then the week before the uh, event at Rough Tail, I talked to Brad. He said all depends on if he can get a sitter two days before the event, This, which is a Thursday. Got a sitter. Cool. Went to the event. Uh, went to Brad's house after the event. Uh, this was about 6 o'clock by then. We did a run of reviews. Cooking some food, watching some MMA, or watching some boxing, back and forth in reviews, and that was the story. I don't know where the fuck I'm going with it, but you know what? That was the story. <laughs> well, the beginning of it was saying I hate you both because I couldn't have been there. Mm. Because it happened to be the same day as my two-year-old daughter's birthday party. So. Which, what did I ask you when you picked me up at work the first thing? What did I? No, 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 no. I talked to you sometime. I said, I asked you what time the party was. Yeah. You said noon. I said, Never mind. That's exactly the time Reptiles yeah. event started. Yeah. The party for my daughter's birthday was noon to three, which you know, you ain't kicking people the fuck out. So it was like noon to five before people started fucking leaving, and yeah. by then no fucking point going on down there. Because when did they end their event? Really? We left at four. Yeah, they're they're lasted till nine. Yeah, but I'd want to have been there with my friends. Yeah, you can go by yourself. I'll have a beer. An hour later, I'll have a beer. <laughs> I gotta be sober. Uh, so um, let's go and rank this, and we're gonna finish this off camera because this is like a thirty minute video. Uh, I picked that one. You had me pick. Oh, excuse me. Like pick shit again. Okay. You tricked me. Okay. Bourbon barrel aged stout. Mm. <laughs> Fuck it. All right, Stephen. Now I'm getting more out of this than what I expected. I'm, I'm expecting bourbon, maybe a little bit of chocolate, and roastiness, and that's it. I'm getting bourbon, coffee, caramel, vanilla, coconut, or not coconut, um, bourbon, vanilla. coffee, vanilla. The oakiness, mm -hmm. bourbon, the roastiness. I will say ten. I gave it a ten. I, I couldn't help it. I said I was like, should I give it a ten? I mean, that's a perfect score. And I was like, fuck it, that's a ten, man. It that's smells delicious. super strong, but tastes the It's it's super perfect, honestly. Uh, this would be something like I said, you'd have to possibly chill and drag out over the course of an hour and a half, yeah. watching a movie, uh, making making a movie possibly. I'd, I'd get it, if you're going to have it chilling in ice, I'd get it up to around 55 degrees, pour your first dill, 